Well, today marks the anniversary of an important event in the history of Alaska. A bill signed into law on this day back in 1913 gave many Alaskan women the right to vote. Lauren Maxwell takes a look back in this week's Telling Alaska Story. Alaska's path to women's suffrage was lined with many stars, as this exhibit, organized by the Alaska State Museum, shows. One of them was Nellie Cashman, credited as the first Alaskan woman to vote, even if she did so a year before she could. And nobody in Nolan Creek was going to tell Nellie Cashman she couldn't vote. I mean, she was a prominent local person, and two other women marched in right behind her and voted. And that was it. They voted, and they were the first um, to vote. And... It was a year before it was legal, but nobody seemed to be too upset about it. Historians believe Alaska was ready to follow a national wave promoting women's suffrage. It became the first bill ever passed by the territorial legislature. On March 21st, the governor signed this bill, making it law. And uh, I think it's important also because this is seven years uh, before the 19th Amendment is passed, guaranteeing women the right to vote nationwide. But there was a problem. In stating only citizens could vote, the bill left out a big part of Alaska's population. Alaska Native women could not vote. In fact, Native people could not vote uh, until 1924 with the passage of the Indian Citizenship Act. Still, the state historian says Alaska was one of the first to legally end discrimination and in many ways was ahead of its time including allowing a vote for women that paved the path for others later on. We have had a female governor. We have a female U.S. senator. We have a female university president. Days like this are important because they remind us of you know, how we got here. She says Alaskans should celebrate. They were some of the first to do the right thing. For Telling Alaska's Story, I'm Lauren Maxwell.